Hey guys, Ron Frater, and today I come with, yeah, that was English, Jesus Christ, let's try that again. Hey guys, Ron Frater, and today I come to you with a word of caution uh, about a movie I went and watched recently. Uh, you know, I saw, uh, we were trying to find something to do, there's nothing in the small town that I live in, and we were like, you know what, we should go see a movie. We start looking at all the movies, they all look like crap, there's like superhero movies and that's it. So what do we find? Uh, let me not show where I live bodies 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 uh that we went and seen right because it's like oh it's a mystery thriller that's that's something uh it's not exactly a scary movie uh but it could be good right so we walk in you know i walk up to the counter two for bodies 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 please i'm hype i'm like we're gonna see a movie hopefully it's good i just punched my hair um but yeah we bought the tickets, we got a large popcorn, extra large combo, you know how it goes, and uh, too many snacks because it's a movie theater. No, I'm hype. I even gave the dude that got me my popcorn an extra $2, because you know what? I know they don't pay him enough there, because I guarantee you the dude makes like $7 an hour. $20 for popcorn and can barely afford to pay an employee like a fifth of that. I should have known something was a... This chair almost broke on me. I should have known that something was amiss when it was the only showing for the entire day of Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. You know, we had this idea at like 1 o'clock to go look and see what movies were playing. There was one for this movie at 10 p.m., like the latest showing time they had before they closed. You know, we're smacking the popcorn. I'm pretty sure we finished that popcorn like five minutes into the movie, but... Uh, that was probably the best use for it because the beginning of the movie was the best. You know, usually there's like a climax to the movie and that's the most important part. No, this movie was building up to when it like actually started and it all started to go downhill after that. Just uh, before I get into this, there's going to be so many spoilers, but uh, it, I mean, it's first impressions. So if you click on this video, you probably don't care about seeing a bad movie. But I mean, if you do, this is your warning begin with, the background between these characters, there was none. There was some, but we didn't know about it. Literally, the entire, like, I don't know, the entire start of the movie, everyone's just an asshole to each other, and you don't understand why. It's never explained. There's clearly some long background behind these characters, but they never dive into it. They just keep, like, admitting that it's there, and that they've known these people forever, but they never divulge it. Throughout the entire movie, they keep bringing up, like, probably, like, five times this group chat that they had and if there's something clearly weird going on with the group chat with one of the people's messages not getting through but they never explain it it's just like oh yeah the group chat did this movie have a did this did this did this movie have like a, a sequel that i didn't know about that i was supposed to watch because it felt like it no the movie was was all right until the first person dies you see like the first person that is uh that's that's you know dead got deaded right uh, he just kind of bangs on the window with a slashed up throat and you're like, ooh, somebody murdered this man, right? After that, the movie immediately nosedives into the table like it's over. It's just going to get weird. Just strap in and get ready because nothing's going to make any amount of sense. So for no reason, after, you know, somebody is found dead with their throat sliced and a weapon that is seen to be used uh, that slashed their throat because it's covered in blood, they immediately go after the one dude uh, that was, you know, like, they didn't know that well, which is, okay, fair point. But then they realized that this dude had no idea that someone was even dead. They don't hear him out at all. And when he starts trying to defend himself because they surround him with weapons, they beat him to death. Like, that wouldn't be a thing that someone does if you're surrounded by four people with weapons that are armed with blades and random shit. Now, after they pummel this innocent man to the ground with a with a kettleball, I think, was the weapon of choice. You know, they just move on their murdering spree, right? One of the girls in the movie that apparently had been addicted to coke goes and does, like, four lines blow, which I'm no expert, but I feel like if you haven't done drugs in forever and you start doing the same amount that when you were addicted, you will overdose. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I don't know about drugs, but mm, I think she'd be uh, at least twacked out of her mind enough to not make any rational decisions, which she soon does. After, of course, not before, you know, like cussing out her friend and causing some stupid drama that I didn't even really understand what the drama was about. Uh, who knows? But anyways, after, you know, causing some pointless drama, uh, she finds Xanax in a tennis ball. I, I don't know. Random house, she just starts going through tennis balls and happens to find, like, eight Xanax, like, two milligram 
literally just in a tennis ball. And what does she do with this? Goes to the girl that, you know, she just made angry and she was like, oh, you can have these drugs. But of course, before that, for an unknown reason, she just has to stick her tongue down her throat. A as you do. Anyways, again, not a drug expert, but, you know, she gave her an extraordinarily large amount of pills prescription pills that would probably cause an overdose if she did the entire bag, which is it assumed in the movie that she just downs the entire bag of drugs. Soon after this happens, they find her body at the bottom of the stairwell, right? She is smacked. She is dead, bro, right? Gone, right? And instead of anybody making any decision that, you know, they're all very high, they have all been doing cocaine, drinking, and doing pills, right? Instead of making any logical decision, they instantly jump to... She was murdered! The, the killer is still in the house! Right? They go on one of those, and there's like three people left at this point. You know, if you think one of those people is the killer, you think you would all separate and be like, don't talk to me, don't touch me, I'm hiding, right? Or the two people that have been together that can vouch for each other just cap this other person and go, right? But no, the next scene, they're all sitting in the living room together back to back. Huh? I'm sorry, what? Huh? One of the girls ends up getting like locked out of the house for some unknown reason and then she sees through the window that another girl has a gun? Okay. She busts back in through like a, a, an underground tunnel that is never explained. It's like a small dog door but it's a tunnel so it doesn't make any sense for that to be there at all. She gets back in the house and she's like, hey, she's got a gun. The girl's like, oh, no, of course I don't. The other characters believe her. The one other character, oh, no, she, of course she wouldn't have a gun. I would have pulled out a gun five seconds later. And, you know, there, there's people that are being held at gunpoint here at this point. You think they would have some, you know, life-saving information to throw out. Uh, no, they start a political debate about upper middle class and higher class. At gunpoint. What the hell is this movie? I literally started laughing. This, like, I, I, a part of me wants to believe this movie was completely satire, but there's so many parts of it where it tries to take itself seriously that I can't see it as being satire. There's also, at the very end of the movie, there's, like, this whole conflict going on between one of the girls and her girlfriend that says, uh, that she cheated on her with the last surviving girl, which they end up murdering, I think. Uh, yeah, they definitely did. They pushed her off a balcony. Okay, anyways, there was a text that apparently she had hooked up with one of the other people there, and they were going to get her phone, her friend was going to get her phone to see if it was true, right? Well, she pulls out her phone out of her pocket, and they have, like, this fight for it for 30 minutes, and they get, like, dragged in the pool and everything, and she pulls out the phone, and it's not hers. It's the first dude that died, right? How did that get there? That's never explained through the entire movie of how she ended up with his phone. Like, I know I only watched it once in theater, but I'm pretty sure that's a pretty important piece of information to be like, Ayo, phone, how did they get there, right? You know, that text is never explained. There's never a conclusion to that. They just find out that Pete Davis sliced his own throat with a bottle opener. There, I saved you from having to watch the entire movie, you know? Uh, yeah, this movie was... It was okay for 30 minutes, and then it failed. Not all I had for this video, honestly, but just to, like, finish this up, all the characters were mean as hell to each other, and it's never explained why. Like, the first girl, the main character, when she first gets there, they're just like, nobody knows her. They're doing this weird-ass, like, drinking slap roulette while they're on cocaine, right? So, uh, yeah, she just turns around to the new girl. No one's, no one's like, no one knows her. Just slaps the ever-loving hell out of her. You know, like, what's going on? What is this movie? Can someone explain this to me? Did I miss the joke? Is there a sat- is there a- is there a prequel? Is there- is there- is a satire? Someone? Please answer my- my burning questions about this shit show. It wasn't that bad. Maybe I'm just being a little bit weird. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh... If you want to go watch Bodies, 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 I would uh, I would actually recommend it. It's a shit show, but in a good way. Uh, 
you know, you'll be entertained by one girl sobbing the exact same way the entire movie. Uh, the entire movie, pretty much. That's all she really says is, ah! you know, every time she sees a body. So, uh, you know, hope you guys have video. Whoa, that was not English. I hope you guys have video. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you after a bunch of video. Peace out. Bye. Make this whole video. Edit it. Everything. Gonna get a comment. Yeah, bro, that movie was satire as hell. Couldn't you tell? No. They took it too seriously. If it's satire, it's serious satire, and that ain't even a thing.